example, within primary classrooms, individual student devices can really help address particular gaps in their reading and their maths. You can find apps which will adapt to the student's strengths and address them, enabling students not only to work at their own pace within the classroom, but also continue that learning while at home. If you're introducing new tools during remote education, it's really important to think about how you're actually going to support parents, pupils and teachers and using that for the first time. Think about using training videos, uh, creating opportunities where you can connect with parents to learn how to use those tools and also having a help guide so that they can go back and ask questions. It's also really helpful. We set up an email and an online chat that parents could engage with when they did have any questions rather than just constantly emailing teachers through. Whichever level you're working at, students providing peer-to-peer -peer support for each other and in some cases for their parents can be enormously powerful. Make sure that students know it's okay to ask for help and provide support and ideas to each other. Collaborating on some independent tasks can be massively powerful. Using students' ideas and expertise to support each other, not only in creative areas, but also to help them develop their own independent study habits and networks. Skills that will prove useful and powerful for them throughout their lives. As you continue your development of that independent learning and that collaboration between students, remember the importance of your school behaviour policy and practice. Make sure students know the boundaries, that they know the tools and they know their responsibilities. If we achieve that though, students will leave this period of time not only having kept pace with their curriculum, being well prepared for examinations, but also with a set of skills that will support them as they go further through their education life and also into the workplace. Thank you.